Hey, hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Wes Barker. I am a professional magician. Yeah, it's a real job and I really have it. Somebody's gotta do it. Today, we're gonna look at some movie scenes and maybe TV shows. Basically, Hollywood's done a lot of magic and I'm gonna tell you, is it real magic? Did they actually do a practical magic trick or is it just some Hollywood camera CGI bullshit? It's fun to know, let's find out. The first scene today is from a movie called Slight. I've never seen this movie, but it was in the comments. Check it out. Okay. Stopping there. <laughs> I love it, he's one syllable in and I'm already stopping him. Okay, something I'm gonna notice right here, the cards they have, someone did the research, they said, what are cool cards for young magicians to use? And I can see how someone would have Googled that and got theirs. The way he's spreading the cards though, not super smooth. It does not seem like this actor's handled cards a whole lot, but let's see how we do. Anyone you want. All right. kind of messy, okay. yeah. I want you to sign your name on that card. You don't need to hide it from me. We all should know which one is yours. Okay. <laughs> Shuffle your car into the deck. Get so uh, the way he's holding the deck too, like, like kind of, it's just a weird way, kind of a bit awkward, but that's all right. So far I like it, the vibe's okay, everything's good. You lost in there, perfect. And there's a lot of things in our lives that can trap us. It could be a person, a problem, there's so many things that can wall us in. Mm -hmm. But these barriers only exist if we let them. You know, we can do whatever we want if we just believe we're able to. Story here. There's a card in here with your name on it, right? Uh-huh. Let's say 51 of these cards are too scared to trust themselves, too afraid to believe that they can do whatever they want. You know, your card, your card knows there's no wall, no limit, no barrier. Okay. Is that your card? No. Okay. Okay. Uh. Huh. <laughs> This is a real magic trick. They did not really do this trick. They did the very easy Hollywood version of just faking it completely, did not try and do the real trick, which I guess is fine. It works really well for this situation. It's a very popular trick. Every magician has either performed this trick or been asked to perform this trick because it was made famous by guys like David Blaine and Chris Angel. The way they show it here is how someone would remember it. If, if I did this to you on the street, this is how you'd feel. Totally, totally reasonable to pull that trick off. Just the way he did it, he should have thrown the deck at the window in my opinion, because him springing the cards, he wasn't springing them hard enough to go far enough. Like it feels like the window's further away than the cards would have traveled. That's basically my only critique really. But um, yeah, all in all, not too bad. I think I will check out the rest of this movie because I wanna see if it gets better or worse because this is kind of like very middling right now for me, so. Next up, one of my all-time favorite movies, Boogie Nights. John C. Riley's in this show and he is like a hobby magician. And I do remember he does a magic trick in this, so let's see if we can find it here. Rise from the deck. Oh, damn. That's the trick. That's uh, what was that? It happened really fast. It was just a rising card out of the deck. Yeah, two of diamonds just rise out of the deck. Okay. Yeah, this is a real trick. He actually performed this trick. That is the exact one. You'd buy that at a magic shop, practice with it for a little bit, and you could do that trick, no problem. That was done really well. We only saw the back half of the trick. We didn't get the front part of him taking a card, putting it back in the deck. But um, that's the fun part anyways, when it goes whoop out of the deck. They did it so fast here, it's hard to really appreciate it fully. It's a great trick. The main thing I'm wondering here is this movie is taking place in like the 70s. And I'm trying to wonder, was that trick around in the 70s? I don't know. I'd have to consult my friend. Hang on a second. Do you think that trick was around in the 70s? Okay. Yeah, my friend said it was. Okay. Well, well done. Great trick. Highly recommend. Getting it done, Boogie Nights. Nice. What's next? Oh, I got a clip from Gilmore Girls. Skip over that witty, witty Gilmore Girl banter. In all honesty, I'm a fan. Don't judge me. Don't care. All right. Are we doing a trick or what? Wait there. Okay. Fast, short and sweet, appearing apple. That was good, the gestures, right? You know, I got the gestures, the cloth. It's very magician-y. Production of the apple, also, that's a magician-y way of doing it. The handling is quite good. The camera cuts though, they're, you know, watching him, then they're over shoulder, back on him, over shoulder. That's so many cuts. You almost feel dizzy watching it. Like, you didn't have to cut that many times. So that just indicates to me that they didn't do this for real. And it would have taken a lot of practice, so this isn't a magic show. He's not even playing a magician, just a kid that knows a trick. Purposes of Gilmore Girls, I see why they would have chose to do it this way. Probably the best use of everyone's time just to do the camera cut version in this case. Still looks cool. That's Hollywood, baby. They're using those camera cuts. But will it get the girl? I don't know. From The Illusionist. The Illusionist is one of the great all-time magic movies. Edward Norton killing it. We've reviewed many tricks from this show before, but there's still so many to go. So let's do this one right now. Edward Norton takes the stage very seriously. He's about to conjure some spirits. Ooh. 
So he's summoning a ghost or a spirit. It's not just temptation. This is good. Why were you murdered? I was leaving him. Leaving who? The Crown Prince. Possible. We won't stand for it. I tried to get away. This is, uh... I was wearing my locket when I died. But now it's gone. It's lost. Tell us, please, who murdered you? Was it the Crown Prince? We must do something! <laughs> This is such a good movie. In this era, people would freak out if they saw this kind of thing on stage. This illusion is called Pepper's Ghost, and uh, basically it's for conjuring spirits or ghosts or something. I have personal experience with this with this trick. It's pretty uh, pretty impressive for how simple it is and how old the trick is. It's amazing how good it looks. This particular one here, it's kind of hard to say, but I, I think the way they did Pepper's Ghost here was not like the practical method. They had to make it look a little bit better for camera, and it's a huge Hollywood movie, so they definitely went in there in post and made it look a little, little bit sexier than it would have in real life. But that's not to take away from seeing it in real life at all, especially back then. I mean, it would just floor people. Like, it looks so haunting. So they did a really good job capturing the essence of it. Yet again, they got the vibe right, but they're not quite doing it, but still killer, killer job. Let's see if it goes anywhere else. Hang on. Let me rush this and the city of Vienna, I hereby arrest Edward Abramovitz, also known as Eisenheim, the illusionist, on charges of disturbing public order, charlatanism, and threats against the Empire. She's fading away. Okay. Yeah, oh, shoot. Uh, sorry, this clip cuts off too soon. What happens next, I remember, is Paul Giamatti goes over and tries to grab Edward Norton's character in the chair, and then he vanishes. And that's the part of this trick that I'm like, hey, it's great for Hollywood, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, if you're looking at a Pepper's Ghost illusion and the person vanishes, you couldn't grab them because it's done with a piece of glass and you just couldn't, you'd, you'd hit glass. So, wouldn't really work. But still, Totally got the vibes right. Love it. Illusion is still one of the best. I mean, and they had world-class magic consultants working on the show, so I expect nothing less. I need to see that illusion in a uh, real Hollywood film. Love it. I only, almost forgot it was there. Amazing. Last but not least, or maybe least, Joey from Friends. Bet you didn't know he was a magician. Me neither. Someone sent this in the comments. What is it? All right, now, memorize it. You got it? Oh, yes. Okay. Is that your card? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't know what I was expecting, so uh, well done, Joey. <laughs> I can see me doing that exact trick to one of my friends very soon. But that's the character. Be dumb. I love it. He has another card trick I remember from Friends where, like, he takes a card and, like, he quickly looks at it before he puts it back. Joey Tribbiani, just not, not a great magician. But, uh, hey, at least I didn't use any camera tricks to film that one, so I guess that's a good thing. Well, that's another five scenes for today. Thank you guys for watching, and, hey, thanks for commenting, please. More. Me and the Magic Unicorn here, we definitely want to check out all of the scenes you guys send us, so please. You guys are suggesting stuff in the comments that I totally forgot about or I never knew existed, and it's amazing. So if, uh, if you keep suggesting them, I'll eventually get to it, I promise, and we can learn together because it's super fun and interesting. And it makes my brain work. I have to think. I have to really, um, I have to summon the magical powers of my knowledge. Okay, that's not really what I'm doing. I'm just thinking hard and occasionally calling a friend. Thanks so much. Yeah, please like and subscribe if you can, if you have a moment, which you do, because you're still here. If you're still here, then you have a moment, so I appreciate that. I hope you're having fun with this. Don't forget to comment. See you in the next video. Thanks.